Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy and today we are talking about my trash. Yes, I saved my garbage and I talk about it here on the internet. It's not exactly something that I had written down in my five year plan, but you know, here we are. We just embrace things as we go. I have been saving trash for quite some time and we have a full bag of trash that we're going to talk about today is quite a bit of trash in here um some stuff I'm, i may not remember because it has been a while but i'm just going to start with what's at the top and just give you my thoughts and my opinions on these items so my favorite grocery store is definitely trader joe's but I've not been able to really get there lately, especially during the pandemic. The last time I went to Trader Joe's was May 11th. I know that specifically because that's my birthday. And that is something I wanted to give myself as a gift. A whole trip to Trader Joe's, which was a lot of fun. You guys know one of my favorite things from Trader, Trader Joe's is the little dumplings that I call. I think they're called gyozas. I'll put the spelling up here on the screen, but I think that's what they're called. So I had really been craving those one day when I went over to public. So I found these um, dumplings that I thought would try because I thought they looked similar to those gyozas. They weren't the same. <laughs> I don't know all the different dumplings and the different buns and the steamy things. Um... <clears throat> I didn't love these. Obviously, I ate them because I'm a person that really hates to waste my money. I didn't love these at all. I would definitely prefer to eat those gyoza ones from Trader Joe's. But in a, in a pinch, if I ever feel like I really just want those again, I probably still won't buy those, to be honest. I probably, I probably just won't buy those because they were just not as good as the ones that are from Trader Joe's. So I have a couple of cheeses that I wanted to talk about. And so what happens with me and cheese? So this is how it goes. I've been eating vegan for so long that I think that I've forgotten the taste of certain things. But then when I'll eat something and it remind me of something. Like one day I was at my friend Courtney's house and we were trying a vegan cheese. And Courtney was like, it's reminding me of something. I said, it's reminding me of something too. We call her friend Esther in the room. We were like, Esther, can you taste this cheese and tell us what it tastes like? Esther just look at us straight. She said, it tastes like cheese. So <laughs> there are times when there's like a trigger or a memory of something that something tastes that good that reminds me of the real thing. So I have two cheeses here. This is the Diet Cheddar Slices and this is the Whole Foods 365 brand Smoked Gouda. This is good and this is probably something you'll find just as easily because I think I picked this one up at Target if I'm not mistaken. So you can just about get it at any grocery store. But this one this smoked gouda it is really good you guys like i will be buying this again i have quite a bit of vegan meat that i want to talk to you about i'll go ahead and start off with this one because it's so big this is the beyond meat plant-based burger and this was a box of 10 patties let me yes this is a box of 10 patties i really do like the beyond meat products they have some italian sausage that are chef's kiss however those suckers are very expensive so i only buy those for special occasions like when i'm having company over but i wanted to get these when i saw them at target they came out i want to say for the holiday which the last one was the fourth of july here in the united states so target had this big box it was 15 dollars, i believe which was a good price for to get 10 of these these are the closest thing to a hamburger patty that i personally feel that you're gonna get in the vegan meat industry i have tried a lot of burgers I've tried a lot of black bean burgers, white bean burgers, lentil burgers. I've tried a lot of burgers. This one is a little bit freaky, honestly, because it actually does cook 
like me like i put nothing on this except a little bit of vegan worcestershire sauce by amy's and some onions that's typically how i always cook this even if i'm gonna put it on bread or if i'm not gonna put it on bread this does not need salt <laughs> in my opinion you do not have to season this at all except with just a little bit of whatever you like to put on your burger this is so close to what real meat tastes like it's really freaky you guys okay so a few moments ago we were talking about how you eat something and the taste come back to you right so i was at kroger one day and i wanted some vegan sausages um specifically i want them to eat with my grits my mom used to make me grits and sausage all the time as a young girl and being in quarantine and i also read the book um where the crawdads sing and <laughs> so i just started craving grits and sausage all over again so i bought these and the way i cook these is i slice these up so they come you know how sa sausages come clear wrap and this is just the wrap and it goes around the sausage right okay so four came in there so the first time i tasted this my mind traveled to a brown paper bag I personally don't remember the day in my life where I ate or chewed on a brown paper bag. However, <laughs> the nostalgic taste that my brain took me to was a brown paper bag. These are awful. <laughs> These are so bad. I ate all four of them. Yes, once again, I don't like to waste money, but they tasted like a brown paper bag. I'm assuming because i don't remember eating one they were not good they kind of ruined my grits but not really but they kind of did they kind of did then i still really wanted some italian sausage so i was at target one day and i saw these i don't know why i kept two packages but i did i saw these sliced italian sausage by garden and garden just a brand that just like beyond meat they do vegan meat so well they have a fish that is difficult to find but if you can those little guardian fish make the best fish tacos and they also have little turkey cutlets that i get around the holiday season where i make my own kind of little holiday meal with those turkey cutlets love those so this italian sausage i picked up one day at target you guys i was like whoo it redeemed the brown paper bag that I had picked up from kroger it redeemed them you guys these are so good and then this one is i've shown you several times before this is just the garden beefless ground so this is going to mimic ground crumbles the only thing i don't really like about vegan ground beef is that it gets weird it gets weird like you want to cook the whole bag so you kind of have it for the week but then it gets weird why does it get weird it gets weird it looks weird it heats up weird and it tastes weird the second day so i've got to the place now since we're in quarantine and i have a little bit more time to cook that i just cook a little bit at a time i just cook it for exactly what i need it for and you use this just like you would ground beef i'll make tacos with it i use it in spaghetti i've used it in chili it doesn't get weird in chili i guess because of all the moisture it doesn't get weird in chili but this does this is really good in a three bean chili so if you're looking for an alternative I will check this out. I am not a huge fan of the Tofurky brand. I have tried several of their products. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know what it is. You know what it, this ain't it, exactly it, but so they'll say this tastes like turkey or this tastes like ham or this tastes like roast beef. I have every single tofurkey that i bought they legit all taste the same to me and i just don't feel like it's worth buying these like the amount of sodium in here i don't get that nostalgic feeling of i'm like i'm eating the sandwich that i used to have like a sub sandwich or something i just don't feel like this is necessarily worth it i honestly just rather have like my chickpea tuna salad or just a whole veggie salad instead of just adding this to it i just don't like these i've tried a lot of these and i keep trying them and y'all probably gonna see them again where i'm gonna be like i tried these i just don't think i like them though 
When Morningstar first came out, they had a lot of vegetarian options, but not a lot of vegan options. Like a lot of their faux meats had like egg in it and stuff like that. But these particular ones, and you know that the they used to be brown. Like the brown ones used to be the more plant-based option. Nothing in the brown <laughs> Morningstar category taste anything less than cardboard in my opinion they're all just i'm like what is who said who signed off on this okay but these particular chicken patties are i found better than the boca and you guys know i'm a huge lover of the boca brand especially the hot and spicy chicken patties but i actually like these more i found these at target i haven't seen them like at Publix and kroger or anything like that but i found these at target and these make a superb addition to whatever garden salad you're making especially if you have like some vegan feta from biolife and you put this in there with a bunch of greens and tomatoes and stuff and some balsamic vinaigrette oh my goodness this is so good on a salad you guys it's not necessary to show you but i know sometimes new vegans are just so confused one day my cousin who's honestly the sweetest man in the world for goodness sake jesse is just so sweet and so nice i'm like jesse in my mind i'm like I don't think we're gonna be able to hang out because you're just too nice. <laughs> He's so sweet. He called me from the grocery store one day. He and his wife were trying to go more plant based. And he was like, Tracy, we're at the grocery store. We just don't know what to buy. <laughs> I was like, just buy groceries, honey. <laughs> but this is something that I feel that once I go back to work, Lord, please don't make me go back to the office. <sighs> Whew. Okay, I just have to pray that prayer right quick. I don't ever want to go back to the office full time. But if I do, <laughs> this is something that I definitely want to keep in my uh, work cover. I was not expecting this to be really good, but there are just some days in this house every day that I'm just so tired of trying to create a meal for myself. I'm just over it, right? So I picked some of these up when I went to, I think I was at Publix the day I got these. And this is the spicy chili, and I was like... Mm -hmm. But you guys, this is actually really good. I didn't put any sodium in it because I didn't want to. I did add just a tiny bit of chili powder to it. And then I had a little piece of cornbread on the side with it. I truly enjoyed this. I just had to show you guys this. This is just my favorite coffee creamer. I have tried other coffee creamers that just do not stand up to my so delicious french vanilla non-dairy coffee creamer this is so delicious and i've been trying a bunch of different coffees lately some of them i'm going to share with you today and this just works well with it every single time this is just this is just my happy place when it comes to coffee you guys the last time i went to try i don't think it was the was the last time I don't think it was the last time, but I went to Trader Joe's one day and I picked up this product. This is the coca, the turmeric ginger coconut beverage. You can absolutely make this yourself. You don't have to buy this. You can just get you some coconut milk, put your little bit of ginger, turmeric, and black pepper in there and make your own like golden milk. But you know, I don't always want to do everything myself. I want somebody else to do something for me sometime. So I picked this up, you guys. This was good, hot and cold. This was such a nice, like on the day, since I don't drink coffee every single day. I love coffee and it always has to be some coffee in this house, <laughs> but I don't drink coffee every single day. And so on the days that I didn't want coffee or I didn't want tea, you guys, this was so stinking good. I Speaking of Trader Joe's, okay <laughs> i've not been feeling that well lately for the several months i have some issues going on working with my doctors blah 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 i have been eating these so much slower which is a good thing <laughs> the last time i went to trader joe's i did get two bags okay and i did finish this so look between may and august i only ate one bag of these versus a bag every two to three days so Progress is happening over here, okay? Another Amy's product that I like to have that comes in clutch 
on those days where you just don't feel like cooking just want to throw something together right quick these amy burritos are so good they have a few different variety this particular one is not my favorite because it's a gluten-free tortilla um it was the tortilla the inside was great but i didn't love the the tortilla wrapping of it but if you are gluten-free this is definitely an option for you amy has several vegan products and she makes it really easy for you to know which ones are vegan there's just like a little v on the back flip it over and you see the v you know you're good and sometimes you just put it like the first word in the list of ingredients so you know there as well amy is just one of those brands that you just can go to in the clutch have what you need and don't have to do a whole lot of worrying about it love amy's products so i want to talk to you about a couple of coffee brands um as I'm going through my life, um, I've always been a small business Saturday person. <laughs> I've always loved the concept of small business Saturday. When I lived in Memphis, I went to the farmer's market just about every single Saturday. I would start off with my groceries there and what else I would need. I would just go to the grocery store and get so I'm a huge small business lover. I am also a person that really likes to support minority brands specifically black owned brands i a black female brand oh that's me all, all day long i'm all over that situation but i just like to support small minority brands so i had decided that i no longer wanted to purchase starbucks coffee um, I feel that I would buy a bag of Starbucks, Starbucks about every other month of coffee. Um, Starbucks didn't notice that I stopped buying from them at all. They don't care. <laughs> They're a major corporation. But a small brand would notice that I buy from them. I would rather see another small brand grow. So I started looking for smaller brands of coffee. I belong to a Facebook group that is always talking about one specific brand of coffee. And they're all, I mean, listen, they buy coffee seasonally. Okay, the summer se <laughs> coffees are out. The winter coffees are out. I'm like, these sisters is serious about this coffee. <laughs> so... I decided that I would look over at their brand to see what coffees that would interest me. Um, this brand, when I went to their, so I put a couple of coffees in my cart that I thought would be good. And this is how I shop when I shop from a smaller brand. Not from a big box brand, but a smaller brand. I always go to their website, see what they're about, see what their story is, and then I go right on over to their Instagram and to see what their Instagram looks like. So I went over to this brand Instagram and they had zero diversity. They only had a, they had a very one-sided brand. So I thought, okay, well, I may try that later. And I still may try that. Let's not get it twisted. I still may try it because it's still a smaller brand. So I just thought, well, are there any black women that own coffee? <laughs> so I Googled black female coffee brand and dope coffee came up. This is a brand that is out of Atlanta, Georgia. And it was interesting because the day I bought this coffee was Memorial Day. And the lady who is part owner of this brand is also a vet. So I was like, okay, we, we, we doing it today. <laughs> so anyway, I bought the sample package of dope coffee which came four which i don't know how many cups <laughs> I'm about to tell on myself i don't know how many cups you're supposed to get out of each one of these but i ain't get but two cups just like i only get two glasses of wine out of one bottle <laughs> but anyway so i got whole beans because you guys talked me into getting a coffee grinder so i got whole beans and i have four different flavors here i have dope sunrise um it just says for epic mornings and then i got tanzania pea berry and then i got burundi honey and i got organic guatemalan okay let me just say this is delicious this one you guys i drank 
quite a bit <laughs> before I put the coffee creamer inside of it. You guys, this one is really, really good. The other ones were okay. They were not bad at all. I really thought that I was going to love the Burundi honey. I didn't love it as much as I love this Tanzania pink berry. I haven't gone back to the website to purchase this, but I will eventually. There are just so many coffee brands that I've found that I really want to try and dabble with that I didn't, did not just want to commit to this one like I had committed to to Starbucks for a couple of years I just want to kind of look around and see what else is out there so I will be buying this eventually but right now I'm trying other brands another brand that I'm trying right now is mugging <sighs> y'all this so good right here <laughs> this is so this is so so good this is the bold one though I ain't gonna lie let me tell you what this coffee tastes like let me tell you have you ever and it don't matter what race you are it don't matter how old you are let let me tell you what this coffee tastes like this coffee tastes like idris elba i said it this coffee <laughs> tastes like a beautiful black man <laughs> this coffee is what i want my husband to look like <laughs> this this coffee is my new standard when I start dating, I'm like, hold up. You don't look like my coffee taste. So I can't be going out with you. <laughs> you guys, this coffee is very bold. This coffee is very dark. This coffee is caressing. This coffee is deep voice, but speaks softly because he does not need to yell this coffee is really good <laughs> that was way too much that was way too much for coffee y'all that was just way too much i have one more cheese i wanted to show you guys this is the kite hill cream cheese that has chives in it just like you can never go wrong with a garden product you can never go wrong with the kite hill product i have yet to try a Kite Hill product that I don't love. Yo, <laughs> this is one of the most expensive brands on the market when it comes to vegan products. Yo, Kite Hill is not playing. They is here for the coins. But it really is kind of like an artisanal upscale type of brand. This cheese, I would say, was very comparable to what you would get in whatever your favorite. Like if your favorite is a Philadelphia cream cheese, this will be very comparable to that. Yo, this is so good. It's not something I buy often at all. I may buy a Kite Hill product twice a year, like real talk. <laughs> this is my one so far. I have another one that I can buy for the year. And it's probably going to be some ravioli because Kite Hill does make a vegan ravioli. And they have a few different flavors that is so good, you guys. Kite Hill yogurt is good. Um, I've not tried their coffee creamer because we can't be playing around with that. <laughs> but every single thing that Kite Hill makes, you guys, is so 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 delicious but it's not so delicious it's just so so delicious it's very rare that i talk to you guys about protein powder because i think protein powder i feel like protein powders are personal <laughs> like <laughs> per protein powders are just that thing that's just like you don't some people like gritty protein powder some people don't some people want plant-based some people don't and it's just one of those things, it's really important for me to never tell you what's healthy and what's not healthy. I just don't believe in that. I don't believe in trying to tell people what's healthy or what they should eat or what they shouldn't. It's just, that's just off limits as far as I'm concerned. So it's very rare that I want to do that. But I don't really, t I don't want to talk about the protein, like the benefits of this powder. That's something you have to figure out for yourself. Google is your best friend. But the taste... Y'all, the taste of this protein powder. This is the Salted Caramel by Vega One. <sighs> Y'all, this is good. This gives me the nostalgia taste of a Frosty. If I do milk, banana, and a couple of dates in here, and put a little few ice cubes in there to keep it a little bit thick where you kind of have to eat it just with a spoon. Yo, <laughs> this is so good to me. And... I feel when I blend it, it doesn't leave anything gritty and it blends all the way. This 
tastes real good to me. So for all my bakers out there, I consider myself a baker now. I'm not really good at it. I don't know how to bake one thing and I still am trying to tweak it to make it just right. But I have been really loving making banana bread and I wanted to make it with walnuts and with chocolate chips. So I was like, I know there got to be some vegan chocolate chips out here about now and there are some. I'm not a huge chocolate lover as I've told you guys several times before. So having these chocolate chips be mini when I made them with a the walnut, it was good, y'all. I hadn't shared the recipe yet. Don't even ask me because I'm going to when I feel like it. But it is so good and I will show you it eventually. But this, if you are a baker, you're looking for a non-dairy chocolate alternative, check these out. I got these particular ones from Amazon Whole Foods, I believe, or Fresh, one of the two. But I did see them also at Target. So if you are still out going out, out and about in the world, <laughs> you can find these at Target. So I have two more food items I wanna show you. It's the same item, it's a cookie by the same brand. I just have two boxes of cookies. So I've had these cookies sit over here on, next to me on the couch for a little while and I've been trying to figure out how I'm gonna describe these cookies to you. Um, so first let's just talk about the brand. Partake is a black owned brand that is sold in Target. Um, they make vegan cookies. I think that's really, really cool. If I'm not mistaken, I think Jay-Z invested into their business. I think that's how, it, I think that's right. And they were able to expand and go bigger and brighter and better. Um, let me see. So we have the cookie butter and the birthday cake. So let me, let me try to describe what these taste like to you, okay? Um, the cookie butter, I was really excited about getting these, so I wanted to try these first, so I tried these second. Um, I ended up liking these better, so how it went is, this box took me a day to eat, this box took me 45 minutes to eat, so, um, <laughs> you can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to try. <laughs> Y'all, it was not pretty up in here. It was not pretty for those two days. I was like, did I just eat two boxes of cookies? And I started not to put them in the trash talk because I was like, I'm not telling nobody that. Here I am telling the internet. <laughs> but yo, these are freaking delicious. They are crunchy and crispy cookies, so they're not like a chewy type of cookie. This says soft to bake, but I didn't find it necessarily soft. And that's why I tried these first because I thought these would be just like the better cookie. They are good <laughs> they're great it just took me a day to eat them where these just took 45 minutes so i just feel like these just had a little leg up on the other ones because i ate them a little bit faster <laughs> legit i ain't gonna lie to y'all that particular day <laughs> i didn't eat anything else but cookies i woke up about 10 o'clock and i was like oh i don't want anything what can i eat i'm gonna just eat a cookie right quick and i'll get dressed I sat on the side of my bed, ate this whole box of cookies while I was watching Disney Plus. It just happened. It happened. I have just a few like cosmetic products that I want to show you. This one in particular, I'm always showing you guys. I have yet to find a better face wash for me. I have oily skin and this is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Face Wash. You guys, it's just so so good I use this twice a day and it just really does great stuff to my skin I love it so much even though I have oily skin it doesn't leave me feeling too dry it doesn't strip my oils nor does it make me even more oily I just really do like this product another product I really love for my skin is this glow tonic by pixie and I'll be honest with you I don't know if this is a vegan and Product. I know Pixie is a cruelty free brand, but I don't know if this tonic is a cruelty is a a vegan product. Yo, this is expensive as far as a drugstore toner goes because you can get this at Target or you can get this on the Pixie website. But this glow tonic, I promise you, the very first time I tried it, it may have been this size bottle or even smaller. Um, and I was like, within three days, you guys, I could tell a difference in my skin. This is real good. You can't tell what this says because I just, 
<laughs> I just used the bottle all kind of up. This is the brand Angelou Natu Naturals. When I decided that I wanted to go more cruelty free as far as my skincare goes, Angelou Naturals was one of the very first brands that I found. And you can find it at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Sometimes you can find it at Home Goods. So it's just one of those brands you just kind of pop up and sprinkle around. And you can find it in places. It doesn't have to be necessarily that expensive. Um, you can also find this at Whole Foods. You can find it at Amazon and at their Angelou Naturals website. Angelou Naturals is is all cruelty free everything they have is vegan or vegetarian and some of their items are gluten free which I think is really important especially for someone who has celiac disease I know I've mentioned that before but what you put on your skin, skin absorbs as well as what you put in your you know mouth as far as someone with celiac disease is concerned to be more careful so you can find gluten-free skincare this particular item was called 100 roses and it was a face cream that I usually only use at night the combination of um, my Trader Joe's cleanser my um, glow tonic and this particular product all at night yo I will wake up the next morning looking like not a hag I was working them two jobs, so I didn't do this every single night because sometimes I come home and pass out with my whole clothes on, take my shoes off and leave my whole clothes on and just go to sleep. But those days that I allowed myself to have a night routine, I would try to use those three products together. Yo, skincare goes legit. I'm out of this right now and I'm wanting to try some more brands. I've just bought from a smaller indie brand um, some creamers that I'm going to try but yo this is a good product it really is what did I say did I say it was a hundred roses it's a thousand roses who wants a hundred roses when you can have a thousand but it's a thousand roses, and they have an entire line Angela Naturals does products I'm going to talk about are powders this Pacifica perfect lotus um this is a really nice product I used it to you know what I can still use this. I'm not going to throw this right right now. I'm, kidding. I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This was so good. This is one of the very few items, complexion items at Pacifica that I could use. Um, so I like to put this one under my eye to brighten up my eye area on my powder days, like on the days where I'm just wearing um, like a powder foundation. And I just want to brighten up my under eye. I don't want to do the whole contour and all that stuff. I just want to do something really simple. This would always just really brighten up my under eye so well. I actually do have this on my list because I want to buy some more if they still sell it because all the makeup I have is like 500 years old. It's way expired, but my face hasn't fallen off, so I keep wearing it. So this is Cover Effects. It's a translucent powder and deep. I have this small one because I wanted to just give it a test. Yo, it's so much product in here. It lasted for the longest time. It's a little, just a smidge too deep for my skin tone. So what I would do is they also have a light version of this. I bought the light and I would just kind of mix the two together in my lid. And that's what I would use to powder down my liquid foundation, my cream foundation. And then when this finally, and I do mean finally ran out, I bought the bigger one of this. And that's what I'm using now. And I do the same thing. I just add just a little bit of the light in there because I just really love the way this it melts into my skin and it sets my um, cream foundation when I do wear it. So I just really like Cover FX as a brand. They have some really good products and you can always get them at Sephora. And scene. <laughs> and that is all the trash I have to talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and allowing me to be so weird on the internet to actually talk about my garbage and you are interested. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye beautiful.